Today we're looking at the basics of calculating the, the length of an arc of a circle. What I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to talk a bit about uh, the circle and some of the properties of the circle. Uh, we'll look at some angles and what fractions they make up. Uh, probably more for non-calculator work and then what we'll do is we'll look at some calculations to calculate the length of what we call an arc, okay, which is part of the circumference of a circle. Right, first of all, let's look at uh, circles. So, so the circle that's here that's drawn, I've drawn it. Uh, I set my compass to the size of the radius. So that allowed me to put the center there and to draw the circle round uh, there, okay? So we're drawing the circle all the way around the circle, as you already know, is the circumference. And uh, for the circumference, to try and calculate that, we need to know what the diameter is. The diameter is a line that uh, goes from one side of the circle to the other through the center. That's the diameter that's there. Always remember that the diameter is twice the radius. Okay. Sometimes in these questions we're given the radius and we have to double it to get the diameter so that we can use um, our formula c equals pi d to calculate the circumference. Okay. And what we then have is we really, today, what we're looking at is trying to calculate the length of this arc here. So what I'll do is I'll call this the arc, okay? So here we go. That's the arc. From there to there is what we want to calculate. Now what I've done is I've given us a, a 90 degree angle, which should make it uh, a bit simpler. If you think about uh, 90 degrees, or this part of the circle here, is actually a quarter of the circle. So a quarter of the circle, because we can see it quite clearly, but the way that that's really made up is by looking at the angle. The angle in here in the, uh, that uh, is part of the, um, the arc, where the arc is, is um, 90 degrees. So if I think about 90 degrees, and I think about a full turn, a full turn all the way around the circle is 360 degrees. If I was to simplify that fraction down, I would come out with one quarter. Okay. There's quite a few um, fractions that, and angle kind of combinations that we would use for non-calculator work. So I'll just run through some of them. If it was uh, 180 degrees, okay, if I divide that by 360 degrees, that will give me a half. So I know that 180 degrees would be half of a circle. So if I was trying to work out the arc that was um, 180 degrees, which would be from there round to there, I would be working out the circumference and just halving it if I was doing non-calculator work. I'll quickly write down some others. And uh, you can just check it on your calculator to see if these simplify down correctly. 120, if I then got the, the centre was uh, 120, 120 over 360, that would give me a third. If I've got 72 degrees, 72 divided by 360 will give me a fifth. If I've got 60 degrees, quite a common one. What do you think that one is? I'll go for a sixth. If I've got 45 degrees... 45 degrees will work out nice neatly to be an eighth if I simplify the fraction down. Uh, 36 maybe, over 360, hopefully you can see that that's going to be a tenth. And finally, what about uh, 30 degrees over 360? So 30 over 360, if I cancel the zeros out, I've got three on the top, 36 on the bottom, then that would work out to be a twelfth. So some of these ones here, I would expect would be our non-calculator work that we would do. So these would be for non-calculator. So let's look at a calculation to work out the length of this distance from there to there, and we call it the length of arc. Hopefully you can see that it's a fraction of the circumference. Isn't it? It's not all of the circumference, it's a fraction of it. So I'm going to write that down first. So it's a fraction of the circumference. Okay, and with it being a fraction of the circumference, I've already looked at the fractions down below. 
I'm not going to use the simplified version because we're going to use a calculator today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this angle and uh, over the 360 and that will be my fraction that I'm going to use. So for this question here, this angle is 90 and uh, the, the angle around about a point is going to be 360. So to start this one off, what I'm going to say is that the fraction is going to be the angle that's in there. So it's the angle and that will be divided by 360. I remember instead of a fraction of the, I'm just going to change that to a time sign because that's all that really means. Okay. And we know that the circumference already is pi times the diameter. Okay. So remember what we're working out is the length of arc. So why don't I just say that? So the length of arc is equal to, so there's my, there's my uh, equation that I'm going to have. Length of arc is equal to the fraction of a circumference, so it actually equals the angle over 360 times pi times the diameter. Must have the diameter for this type of work. Let's put our values in. So that's going to be 90 over 360 degrees. We'll times it by pi. I'll use the pi button on the calculator, but if it was non-calculator, it would be using 3.14 and then we'll multiply that by the diameter. I don't have a diameter in at the moment, so why don't we make that diameter, just for this question, 120 centimeters long, okay? So that's 120 all the way across there. So if it was a radius we were given, that would be given as a 60, wouldn't it? And we would need to find the diameter. So I'll say that's times 120. So what we'll do from there is, we'll just go to our calculator, okay? And what we'll do is we'll set up the fraction button. I'll go for 90 all over 360. Move the cursor along. I'll times that by the shift and the pi button there. And what we'll do is we'll times that by 120. And basically what that should give me is my final answer. If it was non-calculator, I'd, I'd need to work out 30 times pi, which should be 30 times 3.14. But with the calculator, I'll press the SD button. And what that gives me is an answer of 94. And I'll round it to one decimal place. To, I'll remember my units. My units were in centimetres. And that's going to be to one decimal place, okay? And that's basically how we work this out. Now this arc here is called a minor arc because the other part of the circumference is a bigger arc compared to that one. So this one here is a minor arc. So I'm just going to put in brackets here, minor, because it's a minor arc. And uh, sometimes a question asks you to calculate the major arc. So what we're going to do next, we're going to try and calculate the major arc, which goes from here all the way around the circle, and it's going to finish here. So I can just put some dotted lines all the way around. This one here, distance all the way around there, is going to be the major arc, okay? So let's, let's do the calculation. It's very similar to this here. So the length of arc, okay, and I'm going to call it the major arc. We'll do some of this work today. It's going to be the angle over 360. We'll times that by pi and we'll times it by the diameter again. Okay? So the angle this time, because it's the major arc, it must be the angle that lies round here. Okay? So if I start with 360 and I take 90 away, that should allow me to, to use 270 degrees. So all the way around there, it's 270 degrees. So that's the angle that I'm going to use. I'm going to multiply it by pi. And remember, it's just the same with 120 centimetres. Again, pop it in the calculator. And that should give us our answer. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the cursor button. I'm just going to go back. And what I'll do is I'll change that 90 to 270. Press the equals button, gives me 90 pi, but press the SD and that should give me 282.7, okay? So that's 282.7 centimetres, and again, that was to one decimal place. Okay, so that's us worked out uh, two questions there, basically. One working out a minor arc, one working out the major arc, okay? Major arc being the bigger one, 
mine are actually smaller and that's the only difference that's there okay going to do one more question with you um, and I'll keep the video as short as I possibly can so the next question that we've got here if I look up here what we have is the we have a small angle that's here and sometimes I know that you can see the circle that's there but quite often we don't have this circle in there at all and all we see is that kind of slice of pie that you would see there okay so what we'll do here is we'll make up the um, the radius so the radius remember goes from the center of the circle out to the circumference so that will be our radius there okay and I'm going to say that the radius is equal to let's just make it up as 20 centimeters for this question that's here okay so re always remember that when we're working with a small piece of uh, say pie like this okay a small sector what we'll do is we need to know what the diameter is so the diameter is all the way across sometimes an imaginary circle that's there okay so that's our diameter all the way so if my radius is 20 diameter is always, is always double the 20 or double the radius so the diameter is going to be equal to 40 centimeters okay and that's what i'm going to use in this calculation so i'm going to set it up it's a minor arc okay so this one here is another minor arc so let's go for it so the length of arc LOE okay and we'll say it's a minor arc and what we're doing is we're going to be using the angle of 31 degrees so again we've got the angle so remember all we're thinking about here is just it's a fraction of and here's the circumference calculation so the, the angle over 360 is our uh, fraction a fraction of the circumference okay Although we can't see a circumference, that's that's what we need to imagine that we're, we're working out. It's a full circle. So the angle here is an awkward one. So it's 31 degrees. We're using a calculator, so it shouldn't really be a problem. Multiply that by pi button, okay, on the calculator. Diameter, remember, was 40. 40 centimetres. Again, just fire it into the calculator. Right, here we go again. So we'll go for fraction button we'll go for 31 all over 360 because that arc is that fraction of a full uh, circumference we'll multiply that by our pi button we'll then multiply that by the diameter which was 40 and that gives me something awkward like 31 over 9 pi but the SD button on the calculator sorts it out for us and that should give us a final answer of 10.8 we're working in centimetres, and again, that's two one decimal place. Okay, so hopefully this has helped you understand the length of arc calculation. Um, we'll be doing one on the area of a sector next, which is very similar. The only difference is we still use, we use the fraction, but instead of the circumference, we'll use the area of a circle. And it will be a fraction of the area of a circle, which will be the fraction times pi r squared okay that's that's all for for this video and uh, good luck